Listen, we have hope because of the resurrection. Quickly go back with me. We're following Jesus. He's making miracles. He's feeding thousands. He's healing every... Listen to what I say. Healing every person that has to be healed. And then he's up on the cross and he's dead. And I was with this guy and now he's dead. I ain't got no hope. I run up into the upper room. Peter's pacing the floor. You know, Matthew, Mark, all those guys are going, what are we going to do now? We, saw, we, we were with that dude. Now he's dead. We got no hope. If we leave, they'll kill us. Our families are in danger. What are we going to do for a living? If we leave here, we're dead. And then Jesus comes walking in because of the resurrection. And what do they do from there? They leap up and they say, wow, he's alive. And every one of them, bar none, was either hung upside down and crucified, drugged through town behind a a herd of horses. I know they're not a herd, but that's the fastest thing I could say. A bunch of horses down the trail and their skin was rubbed off. Every one of them, except for John, was killed right there because later on in their life because he was alive. They had hope. See, if Jesus wouldn't have come back and said, I'm back, they'd have all just went away and dwindled and been sluggish and went, I wonder if it was real. But he's alive. Folks, he's alive in you. He's alive in you. 